welcome back everyone to another video so what you are looking at here is the receiver of something called the world space satellite radio or whatever the remains there is and this used to be a subscription based uh, paid radio service which would bring digital uh, high quality audio right to your home uh, using so a satellite dish so this is what its uh, satellite dish looked like and this was the receiver unit now uh, of course as anyone would have expected they went out of business pretty soon uh, it has been many years since that has happened and I had this unit just laying around doing nothing so what I decided to do was modify it and make it into a normal regular FM uh, radio receiver so let's get inside and uh, before I give you guys a look of what there is inside of this what I've changed and all of that stuff um, here's an here's an image of how uh, it used to look before I did anything to it uh, with all the circuitry that was there to receive uh, the digital uh, audio from the antenna from the satellite let's get inside and see what I've done so um, of course I have removed a lot of thing things there was a big board right here and then there are some other things that I haven't removed that I've reused uh, to uh, my specifications that I've reused as I wanted so first of all let's go ahead and see and take a look at our main controller which happens to be an Arduino Nano uh, and this is a really nice and small one this is my first time that I have worked with uh, anything else than a Mega or an Uno so this was actually a nice bit of piece kit to work on really small and fits anywhere you want behind this thing as you can see on your screens right now is a CL5767 FM uh, controller chip or uh, it has a controller inbuilt it has audio output stereo audio output and auto scan and uh, uh, many other things and it's all controlled by I squared C so it's really really simple to control and we'll take a look at uh, how this all works in a moment but um, here I have retained some of the original uh, power delivery system now there's uh, nothing much in terms of uh, circuitry it's just simply uh, I've used the uh, DC in jack right here and I provide 8 volts directly to the um, nano which has an inbuilt, inbuilt voltage regulator which I can provide it to uh, the radio uh, chip itself and then on the underneath uh, on the uh, front facing side which happens to be this I have my own LCD display there used to be a custom LCD display for this uh, earlier but I have replaced it with a Arduino compatible I2C back, uh, backed up uh, LCD display 16 by 2 characters and stuff like that so this also just simply goes into the I2C port and then we have the uh, main uh, board that I have cut right along here so this used to be a single big board with all the um, LCD panel as well as uh, the circuitry for these buttons but what I've simply done is hacked around a bit and got into these buttons and now I can use the buttons that were already in this uh, receiver unit to uh, you know scan around the radio frequencies so that's one of the things that I have reused apart from the uh, power delivery thing and the other thing is uh, this sign tiny circuit board at the end right here which happens to have two very main features first of all it has a power butt switch that works uh, and I've connected it uh, to the uh, circuitry so this uh, actually functions as it should and then we have the audio disc jack so I didn't have to go out all uh, out of the way to um, fit a separate audio jack and uh, get everything to work with this front audio jack I can simply uh, have hooked it up right here with the um, radio chip uh, the CL5767 IC and what it does is simply gives me a 
stereo output now the best thing i found out throughout this whole project is most of the things most of the wires were compatible with the uh, pin header of the arduino and uh, these uh, jumper cables so some something like this uh, power pin that comes straight from uh, this a from this area right here uh, from the dc jack so the arduino simply plugs in to the arduino uh, and like this without any need of any sort of modification so that is something that i really liked so apart from this this was a pretty simple project i'll just now show you how it works so what you do is uh, push the power button and the lcd comes to life uh, within a second you will see the frequency now one of the things that i have implemented is it stores the last uh, frequency it was tuned to in the um, in the arduino's eb rom so whenever you turn it back on it doesn't go to the start point it actually uh, knows where you left off so this was sort of a convenience thing that i added in i could have added in scanning uh, because it was inbuilt to the um, uh, the CL5767 IC but uh, I thought I just did but the default library I was using didn't support it so uh, I didn't really go out of the way to add in that and uh, it works pretty well the uh, channel buttons on the receiver station again as I said uh, I have had them to be integrated into the nano and they are what I use to scan the channels and I think they work pretty well uh, apart from that one thing I did overlook and you guys would be uh, hearing uh, right now is that the reception is not that good now this isn't necessarily the fault of the uh, IC or the uh, controller or anything like that it's basically where I live the FM signals aren't that strong and I have never really gotten a good uh, signal strength here so this is just something uh, that i overlooked but it was a uh, nice doing this project it was worth a while and i got something out of a complete scrap which was uh, which i couldn't have used anyways so that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one